Hi, my name is Robin Wong and this is the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. Olympus has just released a new firmware 3.0 for this camera. I have just loaded the camera with the latest firmware. So in this video, let's check out what's new and what's improved. Let's get right into it. Perhaps the biggest improvement is autofocus. Olympus claims that they have included the autofocus algorithm from the EM1X now transferred to the EM1 Mark II via the latest firmware upgrade. That means the autofocus performance of the EM1 Mark II should be very similar to the EM1X. Based on my experience using the EM1X, I was very impressed with the autofocus, especially when it handles very messy background as well as background which is basically just bad lit like this one. Also, there are some autofocus features trickled down to the EM1 Mark II as well, especially the 25 point group autofocus with center point priority. Basically, the EM1 Mark II is just getting a lot more similar to EM1X in terms of autofocus performance. Another significant improvement when it comes to autofocus is focusing in extreme low light condition. If you are using an f1.2 lens, such as this 25mm f1.2, you can still autofocus in very dark environment. Olympus claims down to minus 6 EV. This is also the same as the EM1X. Besides autofocus, Olympus also mentioned that there are improvements in the JPEG engine. So if you are shooting straight out of camera images, you will see improvements when it comes to high ISO as well as low ISO. So when you go to high ISO shooting, you get about a third of the EV step improvement. That's what's being claimed by Olympus. Though if you ask me honestly, I don't think I can see much of a difference. It's just one third of an EV improvement. But hey, you know, this is not the new camera. This was released in 2016. So any little bit of improvement, I will definitely take it. Not only that, but if you shoot at low ISO, there is now two levels of expansion, low ISO 64 and low ISO 100. And with low ISO 100, it is detail processing priority, meaning that if you use that, you will prioritize getting better details, better sharpness overall. One of my frustrations using the Emo Mark II is whenever I do burst sequential high shooting, when I shoot 60 frames per second, or even just 10 frames per second, but I burst for a long duration of time, I'm writing hundreds and hundreds of photographs into the memory card. While the camera is writing into the card, it basically locks up and it freezes. I just cannot do anything. I can't change my eyes. Oh, I can't prepare the camera for the next coming shot. The camera just locks up. Uh, with the new firmware update, I found that while the camera is writing the images, you can still change your camera settings, like change the ISO, aperture, or even certain shooting modes. And at the same time, you can preview the images that has been written to the card while it is still writing. To me, that's fantastic. It just makes the camera operation a lot smoother. For those of you who do a lot of video, the OM Log 400 profile is now available in the EM1 Mark II. It is the same profile introduced in the EM1X. That will definitely allow a lot more flexibility when it comes to post-production. I am not a video-centric person. I do mostly photography. So I'm sure if you are doing a lot of video, that new OM Log 400 profile will definitely give you an advantage. Last but not least, Olympus has introduced a new art filter. Uh, not exactly a big thing. Uh, if you're a fan of art filters or if you're a fan of in-camera processing, that will definitely give you another option to play with. I myself have not used the art filters in a long time, but hey, anything new, anything extra, always welcome. There you have it, a quick rundown of all the new features and improvements of firmware 3.0 update for EM1 Mark II. Basically what Olympus is trying to do is bring the features from the EM1X 
and put it into the E1 Mark II as much as possible. Of course, uh, with only one Troopy 8 processor, the E1 Mark II cannot do certain things that the E1S can, such as better image stabilization, handheld high-res shot, and of course, all the processing and all the new features like live ND that's in the camera. Uh, but still, I applaud Olympus for trying their best to give value to the customers. Being a photographer that uses the E1 Mark II as the main workhorse, I feel that all the improvements are welcome and I'm very, very appreciative of what Olympus is doing. I have an accompanying blog article to dive deeper into the features and improvements, so please check it out in my link below. Uh, and please do let me know what you think of the new firmware from Olympus and what would you like to have in the camera improved in the next version if there is such an update coming. So please, I would like to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.